Agent Fox, respond please. What's your code? Seven, six, one, twenty-two, Mr. Hawk. And your identifying quote? A savageness in unreclaimed blood. All right, Reynolds, don't go to the regular place today. We need you down at Walsington House. It's on Cecil Street. You can't miss it. Remember from your training days. How could I forget? You're hiding in plain sight, you scoundrels. Well, whatever works, right? Come round pretty quick. This is a big job. Maybe your most important, too. What's up, athletes, and welcome to The Principality of Mars. Uh, this is an FPS creator game uh, that's steampunk-based. It's really good. Um, I've only played the first one, but there's three parts, so we'll try out all three parts. Not today, but that would be like the next little series, is all three parts. New game. With the British Empire at war with Mars, the Secret Service is busier than ever, taking on four times as many raw recruits, and any spies who have left are being called out of retirement. I, Reynold Fox, am one of their most important operatives. I'm up to my eyes in a cyber trip, ranging all across London. But it can't be long before my superiors go on the offensive. I couldn't read that in time. So, yeah, this is an FPS creator game. It's an older FPS creator game. Um, and like I said, it's a steampunk-esque one. Where, uh, apparently, City of Steam. England is at war with Mars. My dad and granddad help all these streets. I'll not see him flattened. Not by no Martians. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I could barely hear that. I'll try- God save the Queen. Citizens of Britain. Mars shook its bloody fist at us, threatened us with war, and we gave them war. Even now, our troops, far superior, do battle with the Red Menace on every front. We will not be driven out. Here, at the heart of the Empire, the heart of Britain itself, we say to you, welcome. Welcome to a land that fought off the hordes of Spain, that bears the finest in arms of men. Welcome to an empire on which the sun never sets. Welcome to Great Britain, child. <laughs> Alright, I do remember sound mixing in this game is really bad, so... I'll try to fix it in editing, but I don't think I'll be able to do much. Platforms 2 and 3 are closed for repairs. We are sorry for any convenience. I guess these are platforms 2 and 3. Broken. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, you can see, like, this looks really good for FPS Creator. Like, maybe not very good for... for you know, 2024, but I think this game came out in 07. Well, that's unfortunate. That blimp didn't render properly. So, I, do, I am curious, though. Oh. Ah, the nucleus of British intelligence. Wal Walsingham... Queen Elizabeth's spymaster lent his name to this house and we strive to honor it. The Nexus, the center of the web, this is where the great spies come to lend their skills to the Empire. Don't crash. Though I am wondering how uh, warfare works here when the country of England is being invaded by ow is being invaded by uh um Mars. Oh, that's cool. What does that mean for the rest of the world, or is Mars like its own country, basically? Is 
sanct sanctum of the spy master. Hey Reynolds, no trouble. Not as such, Hawk. But have you seen the city lately? Terror's turned it upside down. Aye, terror and Martian shells, that's what. God, Britain's never been so low. The empire upon which the sun never sets. We've been brought to our knees by a bunch of damned upstarts. Upstarts? The madman will like it. The Martian prince hasn't been quite right in the head after his father's accident. But we're wasting time. You said you had a job for me. Indeed we do, Reynolds. We'll discuss this further downstairs. This is a this is kind of a cool custom character. I think it's not actually a character, but an item instead, like this picture frame, um, which is why he's so static. Um, yeah, it's it's clever. It's well done. I think this is supposed to be somewhat based off War of the Worlds, even though the Martians aren't aliens; they're humans. Kind of a spoiler, I guess, but. I don't need to go that way. Alright, let's go the other way real fast. I don't think it really matters, but let's also save. Okay, yeah, that's where I need to go. Actually, any reason to explore? I guess not. You look, you look kind of old to be in warfare, buddy. Beneath the foundations of Wals Walsingham House lie the clandestine chambers of intelligence, the, secret the secretive workshops of British ingenuity, and the offices of Spymaster Halliday. Here I should be able to arm myself for whatever assignment the service has in mind for me. Don't crash. Mars declares war on Earth. Summary rejection of British ultimatum. All eyes on the stars. Invasion of London. How'd you beat me down here? Welcome to the Secret Service Headquarters, Mr. Fox. I pity you couldn't see under more fortunate circumstances. This is our local code-breaking department, checking for messages in Martian newspapers. We are at war and our intelligence has got to be totally up to date. We haven't much time, so you should collect your equipment now. Let's pull this door and take a right and you can find yourself in the armory. Okay. okay. Howdy, agents. British Briton Britons need you. Engine room. Reynold Fox, Reynold Fox, good, good, good to see you. Good. Big mission I hear. Mars I hear. Very dangerous in the current climate. Positively charged. Morning, Axel. Still muttering to the rats in the walls? Charged, livid, irate, and teen like a time bomb. You will be Busy, I feel, and you'll need a few <laughs> trinkets to survive out there. That looks cool. That looks like something for a more hammer. Right. Can I get like a gun and shoot? Oh, that's stupid. I guess those are mag fed rifles. Ah, oh, here we go. The quad open bolt, a bolt action rifle powered by hydraulics. Range of two to two and a half miles. When you're done ventilating the targets, 
follow me to the next room. Oh wait, I don't have a, I don't have a crosshair. <clears throat> Why is the sound only in my left ear? Wait. Oh, it's not. It's just, um... It's just, uh, filtered to come through the left ear more for some reason. This... Now this is something quite novel. Don't look so surprised, sir. This, this is a masterpiece of counter warfare. This is the single greatest leap this empire has made in technological application since the steam engine and the airship. The cage you see sits on the head, plunging the needles into the skull of the user. Go on, try it. It won't hurt. I assume. Ah, oh, you lying freak! It hurts like hell. Well, it was imperative you wear it. How to complete your mission otherwise. This is the Brainwave Matrix Reassembly Cage, or the Thought Veil, as some more foolish operatives have dubbed it. The needles administer drugs direct to the brain. The cage supports the system and also emits small but effective waves in a spherical ESP shield around the head. Yes, but what in the name of Earth is this thing? Well, have you heard of... Have you heard of the readers? A little. I'm certain it's grounded in fantasy. I know better. I'm at the heart of things. People shouldn't, but they tell me things. Just tell me how their mission's carried off. And there's been talk of new soldiers. Even human machines that were once men. Their brains still writhing, horrified within the metal shells. I've heard that they can read minds. That information should be classified, but news gets round fast. Especially at a time like this. Martian scientists have successfully used Red Curtain. Red Curtain was a hallucinogen that only grows on Mars, am I right? Yes, but it's more than just a drug. Its side effects are unprecedented. If you take two grams, you're more alert. But in tune with your surroundings, you, you can almost see people's personalities. You, you can see what you need to do to please them. It is the ultimate empathic experience. But strip away the human being and replace it with a machine and a brain, and you have a deadly combination. Without all that, that flesh to worry about, the brain has unprecedented power. The drug's effects are increased a hundredfold and these mechanical blasphemies can read people's minds? I'm afraid so. Hence the thought veil. It will hamper their efforts to read you. You'd better go pretty quickly. Command seemed in rather a hurry to brief you. You don't have much time. Just go through that door at the end then. It's like the lore of this is interesting. It's, it's not like a bad game. It's just not, you know, the greatest looking game. They ain't that. Not a bayonet. <laughs> oh. This rifle sucks. Where did you guys come from? It was really loud. is a better weapon. Samson Chamber Pistol. Mars meant war when the shells started dropping a few weeks ago. To hell with those Martians, those fools who'd carry out orders on no matter the purpose, no matter the cost, determined 
indoctrinated soldiers, and we are losing the fight. The Empire is simply too big, too much territory to protect, and not enough troops or ships to cover it all. Did you guys, like, take over Earth or something? Let's save again, just in case. I don't know what this... Reynolds, thank God you're alive. Get out of here while you can. Keep going until you reach the elevators. Take them up to the surface. The Crimson Tide. Rationing is now in effect. All families will be issued ration slips and a ration card. The number of slips being proportionated. Oh, the number is being proportionate to the size of the family. I can't read. Landowners, gener gentry, and aristocrats will also be given priority. Rations may be slim, but we are at war. Why not aid your country and grow your own food? Die faster. It is really loud. Whoa, 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 whoa. something. What did I get? Rotating cylinder cannon. This sounds cool. <laughs> like, this is all just a mix of, like, um, stock and custom assets, but it looks, it just works. This looks like a bad room. It was actually kind of a chill room. the crosshair. That seems like a problem. Let me save again. did I open? Is it back up? Yes, it is. Health. Let me get it.
god, it can only be Martians, but to strike here, the tremble I think on it. I tremble to think on it. If they knew Walsingham House, and they've and if they've got they have got in, then they are more formidable than we'd imagine. Don't crash. I only hope we can stop them before they do any serious harm to the service. I don't. I think it's too late for that, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just think it's too late. Really? Uh. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Let me save, I guess. I guess we are officially at war now. Martians have broken into Walsingham House. Meet me on the fourth floor, but the whole level is in lockdown. I left a key to my office in the library. When you get to my office, use the security override to open the door on the fourth floor. Precision rifle. This that looks interesting. Okay, I guess I should go up. Uh, Oh, but it's locked. Maybe... okay. I picked up... oh, that's not good. What do I use the key for? guns do I have? I don't really have a lot of good guns. I have some really good guns now. I don't have a lot of health though. It's a really cool tank model. I don't know what I did then. Do I have to fight the tank? Because I really don't want to. I don't have a lot of health. I'm gonna die. I don't know how many lives I have. Reynolds, thank God you're okay. How did they hear us went like a fit? Jesus, Hawk, what the hell was that machine? It fought like a man. It looked like one, too. That box was a reader. Great, innocent human beings. Comfortable in drugs and housed in a mental body. But certainly they could read minds. But it didn't act like it could read mine. It just fought like a standard soldier, albeit a tough one. 
I assume this thought veil contraption strapped to my skull really works. Indeed, we were the most fortunate that you were already armed when the attack began. But come, we haven't much time. I should brief you before you go. Come, follow me. But it's better to get the bases established. Seven years ago, in the year of our Lord, 2025, the British Empire made the greatest leap mankind has yet achieved. We sent a man to the moon, and not only that, we set up cities, shops, offices, factories, and farmland there as well, under vast domes of glass, with a great deal of effort. But there were still so many other lands to conquer. Two years ago, we sent an expedition to Mars and colonized that ball of rock as well. I know, Mr. Halliday, sir. I was part of the expedition. I still have nightmares. <coughs> what little useless people we found there were enslaved or sold as curious pets. Cities were built, most importantly, Neo Venetia. Built on a system of canals, this was the home of the governor of the Red Planet. Assigned by the Empire, of course. Scientific possibilities were opened up, new avenues explored. Red Curtain, a new drug that only grows on Mars, was discovered and experimented with. Then the rioting began. Shops looted, fights in the streets, police and soldiers drowned, shot and stabbed. Mars wanted independence, and they crowded around this man. Carl Hansen, like moths to a flame. Hansen and his plural supporters declared Mars independent from the land of the British Empire. And that was something we could not stand for. Within 48 hours, half of our standing army was mobilizing on the face of the rebel planet. We fought for weeks, months. We are the greatest force in the globe, the very pulse and power of the solar system, and yet we could not win outright. Though we crushed force after force, though we raided slums, factories, railroad outposts, still we could not overcome them. No matter where we struck, there were always more, always another frontier to conquer, and eventually we were exhausted. We had won, there could be no doubt of that. We could not keep the planet indefinitely. There was no choice but to give the fools their precious independence. Carl Hansen was elected as president with almost indecent haste. We moved into the old governor's palace, the Spectre Orbital Station, accessible only from the neo Venetia skylift. He became almost paranoid of another impending British expedition or invasion, and he began to research new methods of war. His scientists discovered that the Red Curtain drug allowed the user to almost feel the thoughts and impulses of any other human being, giving them certain insight into another person's thoughts. Hansen took the drug in large doses, and it allowed him to almost see into the minds of his advisors, giving him the edge in diplomatic conferences. But the drug has longer lasting side effects than one might think. It drives the user nonsensical and insane. Soon Hansen had delusions of grandeur, mad with power and declared himself king of Mars. There was to be no democracy. There was to be only him. And that brings us up to present day. Two weeks ago, on the 9th of August, 2032, Carl Hansen was shot, but not killed. The bullet is lodged, we're told, in his skull. He has been unconscious since that time, and the diagnosis is not good. They doubt he will ever awaken, and in his place has risen an even greater threat. His son, Prince Constantine, reigns in his stead over the new principality of Mars, and as expected, he did not look kindly over his father's assassination attempt. Did the British do it? Certainly not. The situation hardly merited such extreme distasteful measures. King Carl was unstable and worrisome, but that hardly abdicates his murder. But now, our hand has been forced. Because Mars has declared war on the Empire. Yes, we are smothered in a veil of filth, a sheet of talentless, gibbering idiots from an unworthy land. And what's more, we're losing. This war cannot continue. The Queen herself has asked for you, Reynold, to be the one to help Britain in our hour of need. You are to go to Mars. And my mission? You'll be briefed en route. 
And now, make your way to the launch pad. You're inside? Good. You'll be blasted off in a few seconds. You're now rocketing away from Earth at over 500 miles per hour. Kindly That's start up the gramophone on the wall. It contains your mission briefing. I don't think that's enough. 500 miles an hour, I think we have to go faster to get out of Earth's atmosphere. But, alright, yeah, so that was part one. Like I said, it's got some interesting lore. It looked really good for FPS Creator. Um, they did make two more parts. But from my understanding, they didn't really finish part three. But, um, yeah, that was the Principality of Mars part one. I'm disturbing 13. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you guys in part two.